First tonight, we're learning new information out of Dearborn, where barricaded gunmen left much of the neighborhood at a standstill yesterday. The shooting at a Hampton Inn there left one person dead, and police now say the alleged gunman has a history of mental illness. Detroit Now's Ibrahim Samra has more. It's a seven hour standoff. Pretty scary. That left one man dead. We had one victim of a gunshot. And another in handcuffs. He was, I, I, he was emotionally upset. Dearborn police saying a 38 year old man from Riverview in custody after shooting and killing a 55 year old clerk at this Hampton Hotel. Probably the first time I've seen something like this in 35 years. Police say it all began with a billing dispute around 1 p.m. on Thursday. It, was, it, it revolved around money. And today, it was taking my dog to the vet. I arrived at the vet's office. We're learning it ended peacefully with the gunman surrendering all thanks to the help of a Detroit attorney. I got a text message from uh, a police officer with, uh, actually a sergeant of the Dearborn Police Department, telling me that they had an emergency on their hands and was asking me if I could call right away. Gabby Silver, a criminal offense attorney for Crips and Law, still unsure on why the gunman chose her number to be called. Did you ever meet the gunman? Have you ever talked to the gunman before? Did you know him at all? I didn't know him. Uh, he was scared to come out of the room. He was scared that something bad was going to happen to him if, if he came out of the room. I told him that I would stay on the phone with him until he walked out of that room. I told him to put the phone in his pocket, leave it on uh, speaker phone. I didn't want him to have anything in his hands, to go out with his hands up, and, and I would just stay with him and talk with him uh, until he was safely out of the room. And, and that's what I did. In Dearborn. I'm Ibrahim Samra, Detroit Now News.